morning. Uh, I'm on my way to EXPCon. I just woke up, so I'm a little groggy, and got my Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, God, what time is it? It's 2:11. It's so it's so early. my breakfast and I uh, turned the camera sideways so that's how you know I'm serious now uh, yeah I'm going there you know I thought I'd turn on the camera and I know what to say and I'd have all these words coming out of my face that would be pleasing to your ears I got nothing I'm on my way to St. Augustine and we're gonna we're gonna talk about podcast stuff all right <clears throat> so I think I'm here I have no idea. I mean, I'm here, but I don't know where I'm going. No clue. Jacob said he would be at a place somewhere, and uh, I look like a like an idiot walking around with my phone in front of me. All right, I'm gonna walk in this door. Let's see if I'm in the right place. Uh, that's not Jacob. I look so stupid right now holding this in front of my face. There he is. The wild Jacob has appeared. I'm here. So funny. Just in just show. Oh, are we live now? No. No. Just recording. Okay. I kind of feel like my hat should be backwards. Do you guys like my haircut? I do. Hello. Oh, God. Freckles. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, this is where the people are going to line up. They're lined up outside right now, <laughs> waiting to get in here, but they can't because uh, they don't have these. Yeah. How special or, are these? Or these because oh, I'm a that. bad bitch like that. Gaming's <laughs> EXPCon 2017. Oh God, there's so many people here. <laughs> you can tell, right? We wish we could show you, but we can't. <laughs> we only have one camera. My name is Josh Sencio. With me is my name, Jacob Alexander Blake III, King of Hugs, Co-Vice Convention Chairman, EXPCon 2017, and Tristan Haynes, just regular guy, just Tristan Haynes, and. Christopher Donald Stanton. What's up, jabronis? Hey, Donnie! Uh, so this is a very special episode, if you, if you can't tell. Uh, there's a lot more echo and there's a lot more people watching than typically uh, we have every week. We are in St. Augustine, right? We are. We're in St. Augustine. And, yeah, represent. And uh, we are at EXPCon 2017. This is actually my first convention. I've never been to one. I've never been, I swear, I've Welcome. accidentally gone to one. I went downstairs you... one time, I'm like, why are there a thousand Links and Zeldas walking around? Oh, here? what convention was that? Uh, it was in Atlanta, some something in Atlanta. Dragon Con? A long time ago. Got I have too no far, idea. far away? Okay, I have no idea. fair enough. I think I would have realized if it was Dragon Con, that's huge, right? Right, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah it's, that's quite it's huge. Kind of like a, it's like a major it's, deal. It's, it's so huge that like, Did you say it, huge? there's huge, you just said huge. huge. Like, the people in, the audience right now, we would have a fire code situation. Like, there's oh, just wow. so many people. Well, I mean, we're pretty close. In here. Right like, now. We're, we're like hitting Dragon Con attendance records right now. That's true. We're That's so true. good. All right. Uh, so, originally, what we were going to do is we were going to do the entire discussion on uh, podcasts with small audiences. Uh, we got to start early, and we thought it might actually be more fun if we do half of an episode half of that discussion. So we're going to start with the episode and then we're going to go into the discussion. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know that. I should have written down uh, pause for applause. Right. There. I should have. <laughs> right. That's just bad note taking. It's my kid's fault. It is your kid's fault? Yeah. Say it in the mic. I said that was my kid's fault. Now everybody knows. Yeah. He's not paying attention. Huh? 
Okay. All right, so let's start with, and we don't have the sound, so we're gonna have to make it with our mouths. Okay. Here, you, you, because this is our thing. Let's start let's with uh, unsolicited audio pollution. Love you. Have a good day. Cool. But, but like, but were, was it actually like legitimately a, a promotion? Because like, I'm interested. We'll promote you. Yeah. We sell ad space. We are we on do. the internet. In front of tens of people. 47 and Z King 47 YouTube channels. Go there if you want to see really shitty CSGO gameplay. <laughs> Exactly. You know what? I'm gonna subscribe to him. I'm going to as well. But let's start with Fierce News. <laughs> There's no sense to everybody. There's like explosions and sound effects and like a guitar and it goes like that. And Dude, that is so much better with an actual audience. Holy yeah. crap. I had so much more better. <laughs> like halfway through, I'm like, oh god, I'm still doing this. All right, so uh, the first thing uh, in uh, Fierce News, it has been four years since Grand Theft Auto V came out, and I just realized something when I was writing this. I didn't realize that they never released DLC, a uh, single-player DLC for that. Never. I, I didn't realize that, and I'm writing this, I'm like, oh my god, there's no Ballad of Gay Tony. There's no uh, the Biker Gang one. Uh, so recently in an interview with Game Informer, Rockstar Director of Design, you gotta help me with that name, I don't know. Er Emran? Eh? I got this. I got this. Oh, I got both. Ooh, two balls in my face. Uh, let's see. So, um, thank you for that. <laughs> I'm actually really, really good with names, you guys. Imran Sarwar. No. <laughs> Imran. It, it, I'm going to okay. go with Imran. Okay, okay. Imran, so, no, no, you're done. Spell it. Explain I M R A N. Imran. Im Imran. It's so, Imran. Is this it? is the most important part of this story. Come here. Come here. You have a microphone right over there. You use that one. I, I, and turn your phone on silent. I, I, just, I wanted AJ. to give it, I wanted to let Tristan hold it so it would make him talk more. It's Clearly, it's not. Um, <laughs> so, okay, that, it's spelled as I am R A N. What is that pronounced? Imran. Oh, okay. Right. The defense oh, rest. Right. <laughs> He explained that while it may release story uh, expansions for its future games, GTA V was simply too broad and taxing a project for it to receive one. He goes on to say that with GTA V, the single player game was absolutely massive and very, very complete. It was three games in on. I wrote that down wrong. The next gen versions took a year of everyone's time to get it right. Then the online component had a lot of potential, but it, but to, to, but to come close. <laughs> That's what I struggled with, but to come close. Uh, to realizing that potential also sucked up a lot of resources, and then there are other games, in particular Red Dead Redemption 2. So I don't know how I feel about this, because basically what they're saying is, man, that was really hard to make that game. I don't think I want to do that again. <laughs> I mean, is that basically what they're saying, Chris? Yes. I think so. I mean, I, never, I didn't play any DLC for GTA V. Like, I didn't play online at all. I played the single player, and I was done. So, I'm... <laughs> So okay, so but but define. <laughs> I love that. I love that Chris's own kid broke him. That's yeah. fantastic. Chris's own. Jonathan, you got an applause yeah, break from him. Yeah, yeah, Dad, that's you're the adorable. best. You got like you got a sign in the audience. Yeah. No joke. I'm I'm joking. That's not. That's, so funny. that's not really. Okay, true. but I mean, here's the thing too. Like, for a game that made that much, right. you're telling me that it took too many resources, and they're still making a whole lot of money from this game. Like, still, it is still the top ten best selling games. And they're like, man, that was too many resources. I don't know if we could afford that. I think you just pointed out why. They're just printing money with the online, GTA online thing now. So, I mean, what's the point in making any more content for that when <laughs> you can just make PUBG clones and stuff like that? Tristan, why are you so smart? Tristan, you, you every, everything and, and that comes again, out of your mouth is right, cool. Like we do on every episode that's the three of us, I once again <sighs> remind myself that Tristan picks his spots. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this, though. They did promise in 2013 they were going to do this. Substantial story expansion was going to happen in the next year. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption was supposed to come out three years ago, too. Okay, that's true. That's the rest again. All right. Uh, real quick, I realized that we haven't we've been looking at the chat. So, Andrew Kirkendall, that sexy bitch, reminds me that I'm currently watching myself. And that is very true. I'm going to let you sit in that silence. Yep. <laughs> I'm not going to say what I was going to say now. Go ahead. Way to go. Chris finally joins us back yeah, after leaving it. us, and you took the words out of his mouth. 
Let's I move on. I was going to say that. Uh, so a game is finally has officially been announced for Switch that if it is anything like I'm hoping it's going to be, I'm actually going to buy a Switch the day it comes out. 100% it is happening. I've been on the fence about the Switch. I'm going to buy it. Uh, at Tokyo Game Show last month, Atlas promised a, uh, new information about an upcoming Switch title. And that game is Shin Megami Tensei 5. That is happening. That's a thing. So if you don't know who they are, they, they made Persona 5. Which is like the greatest RPG ever made. You mean Game of the Year contender Persona 5? A uh, game of the century, game of all time contender. Century. You mean the background of my, of my, of my badge for Persona 5? Did you notice that? Did y'all notice oh, that? Cool. Uh, I didn't notice that. Oh, cool! It's Persona 5. It you don't took like us it. so long to make these, and okay. it was so worth it. Oh my god. Alright, so uh, yeah, that is coming out. Uh, so I didn't know much about the series, and I looked it up on YouTube, and apparently like, it has a lot of the same similar things as negotiations, like demon collecting and whatnot. And I think that they would be idiots to not implement the same kind of battle mechanics as Persona 5. What do you guys think? I'm going to hand it over to my two resident uh, RPG uh, masters. We're, ma we're masters now? I don't know. I, that's the only word I can think of. <laughs> yeah, Chris doesn't, fun fact, Chris doesn't really play video games. Oh, I'm just I kidding. Have... I'm totally kidding. Go ahead. I feel like one a year. I mean, are you familiar with the games at all? I am. And I, I feel like Josh needs to be corrected. Yeah. Because they're strategy RPGs. <laughs> <laughs> it, should be, it should be the same battle system. Last episode. It's, it's, it's not, though. <laughs> it's more but, like bargaining stuff, isn't it? Right, yeah, yeah. So, the. Because I mean, same... actually, the, the demon negotiation. Oh, yeah, go ahead. It has the same, like, demons and monsters in it. Like, the exact same, and the same moves and everything. Right, but Shin Megami Tensei, the original, came out before the Persona series. I know. It's, right, so the, the, actually, Persona 5 was the first time that demon negotiation was even in the game. I know. Uh, okay, so why should it have the same battle system? You say I know one more damn time. I know. Uh, <laughs> they, okay, they, I walked myself into They clearly are, you know, are taking different mechanics from different games and putting them into each other. So why not the battle mechanics? Because it was so great. That was the best part about the game. Just play Persona 5 again, then. Not every game has to <laughs> That's the same. I don't point. have 170 hours to spare, Tristan. Jonathan, that was a lot funnier in my head, Tristan. Jonathan is in the real life chat and says, you're the best dad. <laughs> that we will have a debate about on another podcast. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's move on to uh, Kind of sad news. Uh, originally released for the Xbox 360 in 2010, the Kinect has finally died. They are. Uh... Oh, come on. Oh. God, it's dead. That was just an ironic clap for. for... <laughs> I didn't really mean it. <laughs> okay, so no, so you guys like the Kinect? Yes, no, nobody cares. Has anybody ever used the Kinect where it worked? I've never, ever, ever once have the Kinect work appropriately or like respond in time right. the way a Wii, like a Wii controller or a PlayStation Move controller would. So, it completely took me out of it. Trash. All right, how far away were you from your Kinect? Um, I was exactly where it told me to be. Over six feet. I'm 6'4". I'm <laughs> You walked right into that one. <laughs> too, too sweet me. You missed me. <laughs> so much. <laughs> I'm about 6'3". Alright, no, but, but seriously, no, was, how far I away... I, I, trust me, I'm not an invalid. Like, I know how to do it. Like, I know how it works. It didn't work. It just doesn't work. So, if you can't get it to work, you're an invalid? <laughs> it just... It just... It's like the episode of The Simpsons where Bart sold his soul and then the audience... Audrey, there's a mic. There's yeah. a mic. mic. Get, get up there. All right, yeah, yeah. We have, we have audience participation. What's up? It was like that episode of The Simpsons where Bart sold a soul to Millhouse and then the automatic doors don't work for him anymore. That's how, that's how it connect is. Okay, okay. all right. So, the, so life is just, you know, the, the connect is just one big Simpsons episode. You mean to tell me that you honestly think the connect was as good at motion controls as the Wii or PlayStation Move? That's I, not fair. I don't think anyone... How is it not fair? That? That, that's not fair because this is an act... I mean, it's, it's not... It's picking up on your entire body, scanning your body. So this is actual controllers that you're moving around. You might as well be moving around two still phones. based on the motion control idea. It's still based on the idea of motion controls. It's so, and, I and, liked it. And a real quick interruption. Feel free to just walk up to the mic and just say, I was going to say that for questions, but sure, yeah, all right. Yeah. I guess, I guess you're steering the ship. Yeah. I mean, it's up for okay. Brittany and Judy. Brittany just, Brittany and Judy's going to be like, but I'm lazy. Yeah, that's hard. And you guys aren't important. All right. Yeah, so. Thanks. All right. 
<laughs> Touche. So let's move on to uh, last week we talked about, oh, this is actually a big one. Last week we talked about Visceral being shut down and how they were working on a new Star Wars game. Uh, that game is still coming out, but we have new information on the direction it was taking and the things that are not likely to be on the final version. Now, this is extremely sad because this game sounds amazing. This game sounds incredible. Okay, so uh, it was going to have a heist story with a focus on scoundrels in space. <sighs> Look at that. That's an entire page of information. According to a report from Kotaku, the game was, uh, was going to follow Dodger, a cracked mirror version of Han Solo in a story of crime families, heists, and more. Dodger would have been joined by a number of other scoundrels. Uh, the story was going to take place between A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back with a focus on the impact of Alderaan's decimation. Like, that's so cool! And we're not getting that. And I'm just gonna, because there's so many things. Uh, now, apparently what happened was EA was demanding two things. They wanted multiplayer support. Like, it has to happen. We need multiplayer. And it was gonna play a lot like uh, Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, uh, pirate ships in space, basically. And they demanded that more canon uh, things from Star Wars were in there. Amy Hennig, the cre uh, creator, was trying to stay away from that. She was like, no, I want to create my own story within this universe, which is awesome. We don't necessarily need lightsabers for a good Star Wars story, because that doesn't make a good Star Wars story. And EA was like, no, no, you need to put all that stuff. You need to you know, add the Force, add all that. So they were you know, having problems with that, and then also they were having a lot of slowdowns. In fact, uh, one of the employees, where is it? Uh, one of the employees said, we don't have a single environment for Dodger to exist in. How do you do a battle system if you don't know what your average area is going to be? Just use the Persona 5 battle system. Whoa, love it up, up. All right, cool. So, um, if, yeah. if, you have it, if you haven't noticed, literally, we, the three of us just wait for Josh to say something bad, and then we just call him on it. All right, cool. For 30 fucking episodes. Yes! Did you say justice? Yeah. Oh, my God. Your, your kid hates me. I'm gonna sit with that silence too. Uh, so, what, what do you guys think? I mean, like, it, does it make sense, at least financially, for EA to say, "Hey, you know, you're not making a game that's gonna make a lot of money. You're gonna, you're gonna make a good game, and we get that, but you're, it's not gonna make a lot of money. So, you have to put things like the Force and Jedi's and lightsabers. Is that, is that a fair thing for them to do? Yeah. No. <laughs> and two words. Uh, thank you, Chris. Two words. Rogue One. Next. Because um, there wasn't any force that I reckon except for Vader for about 30 seconds and there weren't any lightsabers except for Vader for about 30 seconds And that's one of the best Star Wars movies I've ever seen. Um, I have another I have a question though This isn't that 1311 or whatever no, game. No. Okay, and this also so this is basically three Star Wars games that have been canceled That we've known of in the last two years including the mall game the Darth Maul game that was announced like a year ago. Yeah, I forgot. No, it, yeah, we're Watto. It's yeah, it's called Watto's wacky mall game. Yeah, it's uh, yeah Exactly. You didn't, you didn't, you know didn't get the memo? It's in my email. Stop. He only takes money. <laughs> throw it. See? Jedi okay. tricks do not throw it on me. Only money. And that's like oh, the, that's the slogan, oh, slogan of the mall game. Oh, Eddie! Hello, oh, Eddie. We will play the Darth Maul game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, it, and, and Kirkendall, I think, said, so Firefly Star Wars. Yeah, 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 yeah basically. I, um, I think everyone would play that. So, okay, so Chris so of course not fair. Jacob, how do you feel about that? I'm torn because it's it's one of those things where if you don't have a vision from the get-go, then maybe you need to roll back. No, they time. did though. They but had the story. Clearly, because it's not happening anymore. No, no. I mean, they had the story. They had all the mechanic. No, not all the mechanics, but they had all the things that the, the direction they wanted these characters to take in. Right. In fact, one of the things is another reason why it got canceled is because it apparently looked too much like Uncharted. As far as gameplay mechanics go. So they had all of that down. Which is it dumb was, because we, because people would play it. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. Like, yeah. you, you know, if it played, it's like uh, Shadow of War. That plays like Batman. That is Batman. Correct. You're playing Batman right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Amy Hennig was directing? Yes. I think she Amy Hennig, correct. Didn't correct. she direct Uncharted 1 and 2? Yes. Uh, was it 1 and 2? Yes. I know it was 2. It was, it was, two, one, and, it was yeah. 1 and 2 if, if memory serves. Yeah. Yes. So, I mean, but the thing is, if, if it works, just leave it. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, that was a, that, it sounds like a classic case of overthinking Paranoia, panic, and then okay, bye. It's a lot of peas. Persona five. <laughs> <laughs> Tristan, how do you feel, bud? I'm sad. I mean, scoundrels and piracy in space are my favorite parts about any space stuff. So. Yeah, I agree. All right, so uh, it broke my heart, Josh. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to share the news with you. Uh, Last story, a Nintendo Switch received an update this week that allows GameCube controllers to plug into the Switch with a Wii U USB adapter. And this was really unusual because, uh, and unexpected because it wasn't mentioned in the release notes. They didn't announce this, they're just like, all of a sudden a gamer actually realized 
that you can do this. You can plug it in. And uh, three days later, turns out Nintendo was surprised too. <laughs> <laughs> In an interview with Kotaku, Nintendo of America President Reggie, uh, I, I don't want to say his name, Phil, Phil Zamin, yeah, uh, explained that in our latest system software update, it enables third party peripherals to work with the Nintendo Switch. As a result, the peripheral for the Wii U that allows, to, allows it to attach GameCube controller also works. I think it's fair to say that that, that, and I hate it when people say that, that, that peripheral working was as much a surprise to us as it was to consumers. And, and Jonathan has a Nintendo Switch. I don't think he does. Don't, He's don't hiding one of them. He doesn't want his daddy to play it all the time. <laughs> maybe, maybe in the future. Um, okay, so it's interesting because I, I told that story to my girlfriend last night, and she's like, "Oh, that's awful. Why would they say that? Why would they say that it was a surprise?" Um, I think that it's actually just—I mean—to share in that comedy of like a, of, of a mishap that that's kind of adds to the story and, and, and makes them uh, more. Person, persona, uh, uh, boy. Persona boy. Oh, we have, a, we have an audience thing. Um, I don't know how far I should stand from this thing. But, Get up to uh, it, bro. As close as you can. Yeah, six feet. Like, six hey, feet. That's up? what I heard. No, oh, no, that does make it better. But no, I think the uh, the reason why they seemed also surprised was a way to like cover themselves. If it is a buggy feature, they'd be like, oh, this wasn't even intended. This is a blessing, not like, you know. Don't come at us with that. <laughs> you know, I mean, I think I think you're onto something there because if there's one thing that Nintendo products are known for. It is they're, they're, they're so hackable. I mean, like. So would you say they could they could say it was un? Here we go. Here we go. Un, Brace yourself. Was it unintentional? <laughs> oh, it's even worse when we have a live audience. Did you say we have a white audience? <laughs> <laughs> He said live. Oh, okay. He said, said live. Like, you know, and, and, and you know, I was just thinking that this was the least racist episode we've ever had. No, every single one. It only took us. I thought you were taking. We, we only said, officially started the panel six minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, what? That's not true. Well, well, it's. Oh it's yeah, yeah, official, schedule. official yeah, time slot. Yeah. You know, I'm the boss, so it's cool. All right. Cool. What was I going to say? Um, yeah, video games, Nintendo. Uh, oh, right, marketing, um, PR, spin, etc. I think that it's it's. I feel like it's happened before. I can't. There's another game that, because of course we're a bunch of super nerds that are like, let's find out more about this system that I've been playing about, and and, it, and I think and I feel like there's been. I think it was like the Xbox 360. Like it was a new like UI that was in in beta and. Somebody did some sort of button combination and they got the new UI or whatever. And they're just like, hey, c congratulations. <laughs> it's, it's there. I mean, sure, they could have, because uh, it, it would have been very negative for them to be like, yeah, that was supposed to happen. <laughs> Roll back. Yeah, so I mean, you can't take it away once it's there. I mean, everybody thought when, when they saw that this, you know, was a possibility, they thought it was intentional and they thought that you were, uh, it meant that they were going to finally bring out the virtual console. And you're going to be able to play GameCube games. They thought that they were preparing for that. So I feel like now they kind of have to. Yeah. Like you don't really have any more excuses. You have the software. Uh, you have the hardware that can play a GameCube game. You have the hardware you can plug in your controller. Just, just make it happen, Nintendo. But you're remembering. You're not remembering one very important factor. It's Nintendo. Yeah, but Nintendo likes money, and they like having people buy the same games over and over and over again. What about the GameCube Classic coming in 2019? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. Oh yeah, but that's like 2030 like, though, because we got we still need the Nintendo 64 Classic. That's That'll be next, next year. year. That'll be next year. What about the, mega, uh, the mini Sega Dreamcast? The mini Sega Dreamcast. I would love that. That would be pretty awesome. Hopefully, it's as hackable as the last one. You just need to burn a game and then bam. Right. Dude, that's I would awesome. play so much Power Stone. You guys, Power you guys remember Power Stone? Power Stone is the best. Remember Power Stone? Yeah. Remember Sonic Adventure yeah, 2? Do we have a question? No? No? Okay. No? Oh, way to go, there. Chris. Make, make somebody feel awkward. Girl in the back. All right, so that does it for the, uh, for the news. We are now going to go in. We're now going to go into uh, what we were originally going to do for this panel. We were going to talk about uh, podcasts. <laughs> we were going to talk about what it's like or, you know, how to start a podcast and, 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 and dealing with a podcast that has a small audience. Uh, so, you know, when we say small audience, that can mean anything. You know, it can mean uh, that you have. You know your mom and your dad listening, or you have your close group of friends listening, or you have like you know a couple hundred people. We're at the couple hundred people level, uh, but that's still when you think about it, it's really a small audience because you know when it comes to any kind of you know 
call to action, we say, hey, you know, we need subscribers for YouTube. It took us a while to get to the appropriate mark on YouTube to where we can actually have our own URL, even though we had hundreds of people listening. So we didn't have enough people to do a call to action. Uh, so I thought it'd be interesting to start with how we started, which was actually uh, Chris and I and Brandon, who's not here because he's doing something way more important, apparently. He, he's busy being really, really ridiculously tall. tall. He's yeah. like, what, eight foot tall now? No, I think he's like 10. Oh, okay. I think he's like 10 feet. He stopped growing a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, everybody's had that conversation at a bar. You're hanging out with your friends. And you go, oh, my God, we should open a bar. And it was like, yeah, yeah, we'll call it this, and we're going to do that. Uh, you know, and, and maybe some of you also have been like, hey, we should, you know, start a podcast. And that's usually where it stops. You know, that's usually where the conversation ends because the next level is kind of difficult to get started. It's actually organizing things. Uh, but pretty much with anything in my life, whenever I say, hey, I should do this, I just kind of start doing it. So and good. that's really the hardest thing to do to get a podcast started is just just going out and just doing it. Uh, so the, the first step is really just starting. And the most important thing I thing I think out of that is getting the details together, see what you want to do, come up with a coherent plan and a, co a coherent idea for your podcast, and then just execute, you know, come up with a schedule, make sure it's consistent. And also you want to figure out where your audience is. Um, and also feel free to jump in guys if you want to like, you know, say for sure anything. Okay, cool. I was, so, waiting, I was actually waiting for Chris because he was before I got brought on. So, oh, I mean, yeah, all the things you just said. Um, <laughs> thanks, Chris. <laughs> thanks, Ollie. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Josh. I appreciate that. Thank you, Josh. What? For all the work you're doing. Um, but no, I uh, I think it, the number one, like aside from what you just said, the one thing that I think was kind of left out is timing of your podcast. So, for example, like if you're going to be doing a podcast that is about Major League Baseball and what's going on in the World Series, that needs to be kind of relevant and timely. Whereas if you're like reviewing every Steven Spielberg film once a week. That's not. Um, so that's kind of like a, an additional, um, and especially if you're going to be timely about it, if it's going to be about something with sports, sports is a, 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 a popular one because it's always live and it's immediate. And so um, if you're going to do a podcast about something like that, it's got to it's got to come out immediately. You can't be reviewing. Oh, game three of the World Series was when you're on game seven. Nobody's gonna care. So that's all I was gonna add to. I mean, that kind of goes into you know finding your audience too, is because you know if your audience, if you know, like our audience started with our friends. So our friends are into video games, but we realized that when we first started, we were going into like really like small details of video games. Like you know, not that many people know who Deo Kojima is. People don't. Not a, people, not a lot they of people be. know who Phil Spencer is. And we they were doing be. news about those people, and we weren't reaching our audience. So figuring out, even though that's what we wanted to talk about, like the people that we are talking to aren't interested in stuff like that. So we got it more in general. Yeah, and I think that. Um it also depends on, on um, to steal Tristan's gimmick, picking your spots too. Because there are certain times that going into the details, you can win. Because I know that when I talk about something I'm passionate about, That's you can clearly, well, it's just almost everything. Thank you, Brittany. Uh, <laughs> that I know that, that that comes off, for lack of a better term, on screen. And so that, because I'm engaged, so that engagement is, is um, infectious from there. Yeah. Um, Trish, do you have anything to add? I think one of the most important parts that I've noticed is consistency is key. There, yeah. there was a period of time where we changed the time that we were doing our podcast every week, and oh. our numbers dropped. So the reason, okay, so this actually came from one of our, our hosts, uh, Brandon. He suggested that we change our time. This is when Game of Thrones was turn, uh, starting. starting again and uh, the new season, and he said, hey, we go on at 8.30, but we're competing with Game of Thrones. We should go on at 7.30, so that way, you know, we're not competing or anything. And it turned out that when we went from 8.30 to 7.30, our numbers just tanked. There was something about 8.30 and the audience that we were talking to that was working, and changing that, even though, yeah, we're competing with Game of Thrones, and in that competition, Game of Thrones wins. Um, <laughs> But, you know, 8.30 just works for us, so, you know, it's choosing your time slots. I, but I also, think it it, it, I also think it proved that we were competing with Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's true. It, yeah, cause we were competing with with uh, just time in general, I guess, right? Because mm -hmm. we were trying to do something to optimize our our time, but people people were 
you know, because also we've got DVRs nowadays and stuff like that. So I just think we overthought it, I think. Yeah. Um, the next thing is producing quality content. So, you know, if, you, if you've listened to any podcast, you know, I mean, actually, no, I don't want to. Yeah, I was going to almost talk crap about some other podcasts. Okay, I was so like, quality there, content? Where? Just take, take my word that there are some podcasts out there who are more popular than, than we are. And I've been listening to some of their episodes. And you know when you, like, you, when you used to like, rip a CD, but the CD had a scratch on it? So when you're listening to the episode, you're like, you hear, you know what I'm talking about? This, it, the, every single episode they've done has that throughout the whole thing. And they're very, very popular. And I'm obviously not going to say who it is, but... I think no matter what, when you're producing something and, you, and you're expecting people to listen to you talk for an hour, it needs to be quality. Like even this, I mean, I, I have notes and, and outlines and papers and stuff. I'm not and just up here like, constantly yeah, before. so, uh, you know, you oh, know, sure it's, it. it's just, that's how we do it. You know, you're not going to see, you're not going to see me do that, you know, and, and I think that that's the most important part. And that also translates to sound and, and, and video too. You know, I'm not saying you need to buy thousand dollar, you know, microphones, you know, we didn't, we bought $50 microphones, but even if that's on your budget, make sure everybody gets microphones. Right. Everybody should get except a microphone, for, except, except, for, except for when you're doing a panel, you know, yeah, just, uh, today. whatever. Sorry about that. <laughs> that's on me. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, video cameras, making sure everything's quality because, you know, you need to put your name on it. You need to be proud of the thing that you're putting out and if you're not proud of it then you you really can't be surprised when other people don't want to watch it either yeah uh, or listen to it and also i think one thing especially is when you're uh um what's the what's the term when you're buying when you try to buy time literally everybody knows it yeah keep keep, keep talking <laughs> <laughs> good job I didn't even mean for that to be a bit, but perfect. No, no, I mean, that was actually a perfect time because I'm like, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. That's said. It's Patreon. Do you guys know what Patreon is? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Patreon is very good. We do. We're, we're really cool. Well, I'm that. not trying to pimp our Patreon. I'm just saying. Patreon.com slash Don Refuse Gaming. He's trying to pimp our uh, Patreon. No, but if, if you, you know, if you want to do one of these things, you know, the important thing is, though, when you're doing Patreon, you don't. You can't get into this to do to make money. Like that's just that's not it. That's not what it should be about because then people could also tell. You know, when you're when you're in it just to sell something, it's not going to come across as genuine. You're going to come across like you're you know begging for money. I mean, our podcast does make you know money on Patreon, but a hundred percent of any money you should make and a hundred percent of the money that we make goes right back in the podcast. Especially especially when you're at this point. Yeah. You know, sure. If you're forty thousand dollars a month. Yeah, I don't want to well, pay myself. I, mean, I don't but, have any bills. You know, and it doesn't jump up to that point. But let's say, okay, so you know, let's say at some point you're making 250 a month, right? You can still invest in like the greatest camera ever. You can still invest in the greatest microphones. You can invest in a studio. If you're making that amount of money and you want it to grow, just keep putting it right back in the podcast. And then once you have the best of everything, then pay yourself. I think. I agree. Advertising as well. Advertising as well. Dude, we, we, we sold an ad spot. Yeah, we That's did. so nuts to me. It's not nuts to me because I've been out there working. You've been just the talent. It's very true. I've been making outlines. You see these outlines I've I been see making? them. You guys should see them. No. Because it's a spoiler. That one was good. Thank you. Uh, so another thing is to change but stay the same. Actually, I kind of touched on this one already when we were talking about how we had to change the format of what we were talking about. Um, oh, that was that whole thing, actually. So I already talked about that. Nailed cool. it. Uh, things are going to break. Things are gonna break. You're gonna be in the middle of an episode, and all of a sudden, the computer is gonna start smoking, and <laughs> you're gonna look at your computer and be like, "Where'd you get the cigarettes? And I learned it from you." No, um, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna look it's at your really computer. It's really bad that the first half of that, I was like, "Wait, I don't think." Oh, okay. You know, but seriously, things are gonna break down. There was an episode that we had that everything fell apart. I mean, the computer wouldn't start. The microphones weren't working. I had to do it off of my laptop, and then the trial version of a program I downloaded started making a bunch of weird sounds. And we got done with it, and I scrapped the episode completely. Everybody was pissed. They're like, "No, no, it's funny. It's funny how everything was breaking." And I and I, I had to explain. I'm like, "Look, you know, we only produce the best stuff. If somebody just does a random search and they happen across one of your videos, and they see that, they're never gonna watch you again. That is it. You're done." In their eyes, you're dead. In fact, that happened to us. 
on your episode when I went. Yep. Uh, what was it? I was like sick, or I went out of the t- out of town Should've or something. Should have done that, and I told you. And I left Jacob in charge, I'm and in charge we had now. one comment on that video from a random person. Can I say the S word? Sure. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. We had one comment, and it was just, this is shit. That was it. Yeah. That was, like, we had, like, three views, and a random person happened across, like, this is shit. And now, here's the thing. The, qual- the quality of the content was awesome. I listened to the whole thing. I was, it was really engaging, but there was an echo with the audio. The camera was messed up. There were, like, a billion distractions and stuff. So they didn't. They didn't, weren't able to see past all that and, and see the awesome content that was in. All they saw were all the problems, and that's why I'm saying like quality is important. That's why we need you. Aww. Aww. Actually, it all comes back around. <laughs> that is a perfect way to go into uh, this last thing I wanted to say. Oh, you want to check the chat real quick? No, I just want to check the time because I want to make sure we stay within. Okay. You know, uh, choose your castmates well. I, that, that was actually the next thing I swear. Uh, these are my closest friends. Oh. Yeah, shut up. These are... <laughs> shut your stupid mouth. Not kiss. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. All right. I ship it too. In real life. If you don't have chemistry, organic chemistry with your castmates, you're not going to make anything I mean, entertaining. You just saw it. Yeah, I mean, there, there's sparks between us. Uh, and we do, and here's the interesting part, is that one person is going to have to be, not necessarily the leader, but like the, kind of like the ringmaster, the, the herder of cats. One person needs to be the herder of cats. I don't know if you can tell who that is with us, you know, because we all are, uh, you know, kind of... On the same level. <laughs> yes, Brittany. Yeah. Brittany in the audience. Is, you is, know, uh, you, you need a herder of cats, and... You know, so, oh, we have a question? Yeah, what's up? Is that why you're wearing a cat t-shirt? Ah, yeah, yeah, exactly. I am wearing a cat t-shirt. The question was, uh, is that why I'm wearing a cat t-shirt? Yeah, because I am the herd of cats. Nailed it. Um, (laughs) So, uh, no, now, you know, we do have, we do have uh, hosts that haven't met each other before. In fact, Tristan and Jacob didn't know each other before this, but I know Tristan and I know Jacob and I knew that they would get along. I knew that their personalities would fit really well. Uh, you know, Chris and I have known each other for a while. Uh, Chris didn't know Jacob, and again, it's, it's all about the, you know, yeah. Jacob. not Jacob, sorry, Tristan. Oh. Yeah. The other guy. Because I was going to say, I was like, not only do, do I know Chris, but Chris and I have podcasted before this. Yeah. So. And you've, yeah. So. And you took the best picture of me ever. I did. I did. And he took the best picture of me ever. That, I will show that you literally will, everyone in the audience. That you won't let us post. Actually, One day. never mind. I wish I had my laptop with me. I would totally put it on the, the projector. I have there. a poster of it on my wall. Yes, you do. I do. Um, so, you know, sometimes you got to put people together, but, you know, if possible, you know, you want to try to include different personality types. You know, so we have Jacob. <laughs> Here we go. We have Jacob, who's the loud one. Surprise. I yeah, know, yeah, that was disappointing, wasn't it? I thought I was going to say something worse. Uh, Tristan oh, no. is quiet but smart. That's very true. Sure. Brandon is goofy. Uh, Lewis is a huge nerd. Just, just a huge nerd. Uh, Chris, Chris was the numbers guy. Absolutely the numbers guy. Uh, Ariana has boobs. Um, no, but for we, we, we didn't actually. <laughs> please let him know that I do have this written down. For real though, she's funny as hell. That is actually the reason. And I wrote that right. He does not have it written down. <laughs> It's on the it's, it's on the paper. It's, right. it's on the paper. It's Expose. right here. No, that's absolutely. Actually, we talked about that when we were talking about adding a girl to the uh, podcast. You know, I was saying we need to add one, not for like the sexy factor, not for anything like that, but just we need a girl's perspective. And you know, I didn't want. We didn't want to just add a girl because she was a girl, because that is. I think that's also sexist, even though you're including yeah. just for you know gender. Uh, it was, but we had her on, and she was so she funny. It. She She's like it. the funniest one amongst us, probably. And that's why she made it on. Otherwise, we would just you know keep looking. Because so. like, and that's the thing is like, I was so like, man, like I just didn't want anyone to think like, oh, this is a girl, you know. I mean, Ariana's like done twist streams and, and stuff like that, and she's awesome, and she's what? 
because of that attitude right there, Brittany. Oh, snap. Oh, I would drop the mic, but we, we paid for it. No. <laughs> um, so finally, I mean, if you're with your friends and your podcast never takes off and you broadcast to no one each week, at least you're having fun. I mean, that's, that's, that's honestly my takeaway. We've had this conversation, I think, even like last week. Um, I, if no one watches it, all right, cool. Yeah. I'm having a blast with uh, with my friends. We had too many beers last time. We had so many beers. <laughs> it was so good, though. So I had so much fun. Um, and then finally, oh no, nope, Tristan, it was a good episode. It was. Thank you. Uh, so then finally, uh, I just I'm just gonna read this verbatim. Uh, more importantly, you'll have a product you can be proud of, something you can look back on when you're 70 and say, hey, look what I made when I was just a kid. My friends and I met every week and we made a show where we talked about the dumb stuff we liked at the time. And I think that that's, I think that that's, that's just the most important part is that if you're doing this to get famous, if you're doing this so you can do a panel in front of thousands of people like we are. Right. I'm so happy. <laughs> I love it. So much. If you're doing it for those reasons, then uh -oh. we're what, not going to make it. You, you got to do that a little louder. Oh, oh. Not, oh I'm so confused. Anyways, we die. that's that's what I want to talk about with that. Now we're going to move on to. Oh God. We can actually do it live. No, no, not that yet. Not that yet. Viewer questions. Oh, hey. We can do viewer questions. So we set up a microphone right there. If anybody wants to ask any question, and it can literally be any question. It could be about video games. It could be about us. It could be a random question. Uh, one of the ones we did before was, uh, who is your favorite Spice Girl? And the answer is scary. Scary? No, no, no. The answer is scary. I mean, scary is the hottest, but I would say... That's the favorite? I should wait. wait. Ginger? Yeah. Ginger is the jam. Ginger. Hold on, say that on the mic, Christopher. Ginger is the jam. My dude. So, Kyle reminded me that this is the first time that we have been on time, ever. We were not only on time, we were super, we were super early. early. Are you guys having a good time out there? Okay. All right, well, I guess we don't have any viewer questions, so we can, if you guys we can move on questions. to uh, your favorite segment. You want to do it? What, what time are we at? Are we at? Yeah, we're almost at it. Yeah, okay. we're good. Yeah, we're good. All right. Actually, let's move on to what we're playing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, forgot to that do segment. that. I, I beat South Park. I talked about beating South Park. I've been playing uh, Shadow of War. Has anybody Dude. played that one yet? Shadow of War? No? 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 Right. Okay. It's amazing. Yeah. Play it now. Microtransactions. Okay. So that's the thing. Great, Everybody's talking. Microtransactions. I've, I'm like halfway through. Have Bye, been, like, it hasn't even been bothering me once. Like it is just, you know, you can absolutely beat the game without a single microtransaction. I don't even know how to do it. Like that's how like hidden into the game mechanics it is. I don't even know how to spend money on it. We do have a question. Didn't you need to actually purchase DLC to finish the game? That's what I actually heard from people at the game stuff. Oh, that is something I've. They're not either heard. wrong or I'm not there yet. Uh, stay tuned to Downright Fierce Gaming on Facebook.com slash Downright Fierce Gaming every week, iTunes, Poppy, and Google Play, and Stitcher uh, to find out if that is a thing. Jonathan, I will let you know. Jonathan has a question. Oh, hi. Stay tuned. I gotta go to work. Oh. Aww. Everyone say bye, Ricky. Bye! Oh, okay. I guess I don't get a hug. I just stand up here with my This is how I wanted to. No, I just want. This is how I hold my arm sometimes. This is how I hold my arm. Jonathan, did you have a question, buddy? Well, have a question in the back. Uh, hold on. Well, Jonathan was first, real quick. Oh, Jonathan, what's Real up, quick. bud? Uh, what do we have to do with that screen? Nothing. Literally nothing. You, you can to, you can play pretend that it doesn't even exist. You have to carry that out in the car with, any, with no one looking. <laughs> yeah. Question in the back. Also, would be true for streaming? Live streaming on Twitch and YouTube? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the question the question is the stuff we were talking about with the podcast is that applied? Some of the stuff that you were saying, mm -hmm. uh, you got a small audience. Oh, absolutely. 100%. I mean, it, absolutely agree with you. Honestly, I think the, okay, so. In case the microphone didn't pick that up, she was saying the stuff that, that I was saying for the uh, the podcast also applies to streaming. You know, with Twitch or YouTube and stuff. I think honestly, it just kind of applies. I don't want to get too like weird with this, but it applies to life. You know, yeah. when I when I, anything you do. Just do it the best that you possibly can. Yeah. Applying when passion I, to it is always the right answer. When I worked at a gas station, 
was working 40 hours at a crappy little gas station. That was the cleanest gas station you've ever been in your life. And I was the friendliest attendant. Everybody who came in, I'm like, hey, how's it going? Oh, I like your car. Well, that's really cool. Like, all right, well, you have a great day. And, you know, I actually had regulars. I had regulars that would come in because they liked their experience so much with me. And so anything you do, just do it the best. Do it the best that you can. Around, no one ever going to get you down? Yeah, exactly. All right, we got another question. Yay! Whoa, He's in the mic. the mic. Awesome. Hi. So, I know that you have an outline that you kind of use uh, to guide you through each one, but do you ever, like, kind of practice beforehand or really script out what you're going to say, or do you just use those as bullet points and kind of wing it? So, for the episodes, I actually, I do it kind of exactly the same as I did with this presentation where, uh, you know, I have all the news and then I have the different things that I know we're going to talk about. And one of the important things, and we were talking about this with Ariana when she first came on, uh, she wanted to know, is there going to be a script? Is there anything that she needs to do? And I think the most important thing is when you're doing any kind of recording, you know, with, you know, streaming or, or podcasts, if you are going with a script, it's not going to be genuine. It's not going to be you. And people are going to know that that's not you. you on, a, on any type, type of performance like this, you need to be you, but double you. And I think that's interesting because I was going to say that one thing that we haven't... <laughs> what? What? Um, oh, uh, <laughs> Don't, I didn't realize that. Oh. God, he's the worst. He's the worst. I don't know what that was. So, I like that. okay, um, I believe I can fly. Okay, anyway, so I think though that one thing that we that we haven't said is is that it's important to just be you, like, and and, and it's very common in like performances, like yeah, you gotta be on, like. Yeah, I'm always well, I mean, on, dude. Like but, this is just me. You know, I mean, and there is something to that though. It is you, but it is you. Like almost playing you, sure. You know, yeah. like no people looking at you know videos of, of us talking. They're not like, oh, Josh is acting weird. They're just like, no, Josh is just like extra Josh today. You know, Josh is being extra. Extra Josh. Do you ever do you ever talk to yourself? Like honest question. Like you're okay. Like that's some things I'll do. Like say I'm going to record. I know I'm going to record, and like a movie just came out that I know we're going to talk about. Like I will literally in the car just like. Oh, yeah, I mean, so that's one part I really liked was blah, 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 and I would just, like, say it to myself on the way there and then kind of collect my thoughts and then just make sure I have everything. I know that sounds really weird, but... Well, as, think, a, as a follow-up to that, uh, Christopher Donald Stanton is a musician. And also crazy, apparently. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So my question to you, Chris, is does do you feel like... Your talent as a musician kind of changes how you, I guess, for lack of a better term, perform on a podcast. Um, downtime wise, yeah. Like as far as like if you're, you know, if you're playing uh, like a fit, like an hour long set, and you're like, okay, after every song, you know that there can't be any silence or anything. Like for for situations like that, yeah. As far as like collecting your thoughts and things together, I mean, it, it kind of depends. I mean, it, yeah. it's I don't. Unless you're like an improvisational musician, maybe, but sure. I mean, I, I've never really felt uncomfortable with a microphone in my hand, whether I'm, you know, right now or actually right now, I'm very uncomfortable. To be honest with you. <laughs> because, but, uh, because 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 uh, <laughs> so you're it's just, it's just I've never been this overwhelmed by thousands. this many people. Dude, I feel I feel like Mick, I feel like Mick Foley right now. The dozens and <laughs> yeah. dozens. Yeah. And they all showed up to see me. That's great. It's amazing. And, uh, Thank you guys very much. <laughs> anyway, oh, <laughs> yeah, Chris. <laughs> You're such a jabroni. Um, you know, it's interesting because at first I wanted to make fun of you for talking to yourself. I mean, I, I obviously everybody talks to themselves, but I've, I've never thought about talking to myself like so specifically. Uh, two things. One, do you talk back? <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, uh, no, legitimately, like whether I, I honestly like I've done it since I was a kid. Whether it's like preparing for a speech in class or something like. Or like you know you're gonna like you're fighting with your significant other and you know that when she gets home she's gonna be pissed about points <laughs> A through G. Like I would literally be like, okay, and and I would and I wouldn't like practice them in the mirror or something, but just I would just to hear my thoughts out loud. It's like playing a guitar riff out loud or, or something or you know what I mean like hearing a joke or whatever it is. Like I would I would kind of rehearse it in a way just to get it out. Uh, whether it, if you know you're gonna be having a conversation about something, whether it's funny or reviewing a movie or talking about an album or talking about getting divorced um it kind of helps if you have kind of for me at least it kind of helps if you've released those words 
therapeutically, rehearse wise, all those things. That's just my thing. I so, think it. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say the second thing I wanted to say is that it sounds like that that's your way of you know kind of mentally preparing. So I guess that is a good point is to figure out how you mentally prepare the best. Yeah. Oh, we got a question. Yeah. Come on up to the microphone. Come on up. Come. I, what, what was that? I, I, I don't, I was, You're just I don't like, know. I just, I thought that was the start of the like song. just singing words for some reason. Okay. Yeah. What's up? So I was just curious how you guys decide on your content, since I know there's quite a few of you. Like, do you like come to a unanimous decision, or do you like, I want to talk about this, I'll talk about this, and I'll talk about this? We'll, we'll, we'll give you an example of how that's done by just letting him answer. <laughs> <laughs> I would love it if they would help me with content. <laughs> that would be so See, awesome. And, and, and what actually, a great world that would be. And, and actually, and, and that, that actually leads right into the point I was going to make anyway, is that I, I kind of like coming in cold. I, yeah. Which is also why I'm late all the time. So, and why that has no chance of improving literally ever. So, uh, I think because for me, it's, I don't have any preconceived notion. I have to make a thought and I have to broadcast it. And I just, and go. it is more genuine that way. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Which is why I always, for the most part, go off the rails, literally always. So, I would say, I mean, for, for us, this is how it's worked for us is that, and it just kind of happened this way. Originally, we were saying, hey, you know, because we have like a, you know, a, a cloud and, you know, I'm like, hey, put, you know, stories up on the cloud. Have a cloud? And, yeah. And, and, um, <laughs> See what I mean? I'm like, hey, put the, you know, if you, if you come across an interesting news story, throw it up on there, or, you know, any kind of interesting videos or something, you know, put your ideas up there and your thoughts and your feelings. And that never happens. And it's okay. I don't mind, actually, because... I think that by having our singular voice, which, you know, I'm not trying to say, I guess I am, uh, saying that I'm the voice of, of the podcast. Herder of cats. You know, herder of cats. I, you know, by having that one central voice, then you're a lot more consistent. Uh, I feel like, you know, like we had Brandon on, you know, if we had him do his own episode, there'd probably be a lot more tech stuff. Like he'd be going into right. uh, graphics cards and all these things. And that's not where what our audience is expecting. So it would be kind of like a little, you know, it'd be difficult to get into. Uh, but by having it be me, I, you know, I, when I find new stories, I put them up because this is kind of the style that, uh, that we've been going towards. Question, didn't like the second episode you have me do the news? Or something. Wasn't, weren't we going to talk about like initially we were because there was one time I definitely wrote and and delivered the news with you there, and that was like the second episode and, or something, and it was like very immediate that like, like I did the twenty questions, and it was just very immediate like I don't need to be doing this like I <laughs> I, I, I definitely did the news and I definitely did the, the twenty questions. And, and also I think it's it's a, it's also about it goes back to the the content piece is, is evolving because I the, the the show's different. Just because Jacob, Tristan, Lewis, and Ariana are on it now. You know what I mean? Because I'd argue that, and, and I, I almost preached it. I was like, we need to be more free-flowing. I feel like we're, 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 we're very like, it, bullet point, bullet point, bullet point. When I just want to go and just kind of see where, where it goes. And that's where the herder of cats comes in. Correct. Because <laughs> don't get me wrong, there are times where I will just kind of go and then like, and then Joshua just kind of be like, eh. And that's totally fine. That's literally, that's, that's chemistry. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. and that's it. I mean, it's never even obvious. Like, I never tell you, like, okay, enough, just, that, right. that's good. That's good. Stop. Moving right along. Jacob, now. Jacob. Yeah, that's the thing. I go, all right, we're going to move on to, and I just started Oh my going. God, I forgot we were recording a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on to... No. Um, Tristan, do you have anything to, to add to that? Uh, I have to say, being on the podcast has definitely, I would think, added more structure to the way I play games and the way I approach choosing what I want to play. Because I now think of a game when I'm playing it as, okay, if someone asked me what I thought about this, I have to have an actual intelligent like answer for that question. I can be like, oh, it's kind of cool. You, you should well, be like going stuff. the fighting. Yeah. Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. That's why Ariana's the funny one. So, so, we're, so we're playing Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball? Yeah, you got it. You won. You won that 20 was, questions. God, I wish that was the case. <laughs> oh, um, I'm so bad at it. All right, do we, uh, oh, no? uh, do we have any other, uh, any other questions or anything? Cause, uh, yeah. Oh, we got another one. Oh, we do. Okay, yeah, what's up? Uh, uh, yeah. Just do it. Before, yeah. You can ask a third. You can ask a hundred. 
Maybe not Maybe 100, not. yeah, I just realized. So you said this was your first convention, right? Yes. What What have you thought so far? Like, what have been some of the most fun experiences of the weekend for you? I think, and this is, uh, this is so cheesy to say. I can answer that for you. You can answer that for me. <laughs> okay. First and foremost, the fact that we have a panel at all, Josh lost his mind. Yes? Correct. Yeah, that's true. That's true. How long have you been at the convention center this weekend, Josh? I really wish you didn't ask me that question, Jacob. <laughs> uh, he just got here. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, real quick. As a follow-up, what were you going to, to, to do the bit with? Hmm? Hmm? Like I said, chemistry is important. <laughs> Helping each I'm other, fired. helping each other, building each other up. No, I was, I'm still going to say the same thing because even though, yeah, I haven't been here, you know, all day. I woke up at 1.30 because I was writing this all night. Um, honestly, it, it, it's, it was the same thing that I noticed at the other, you know, conventions too, is the people are really cool. Like, the costumes are awesome. Walking around, you know, there was a guy dressed as, uh, I forgot, the, the main character from Persona 5. And he looked fantastic. Yeah. He looked freaking awesome and you know the people i had small conversations with mostly where, where are we setting up uh are you know we're great i mean people you know coming together you know over a passion just any kind of passion is awesome but i think particularly nerd culture has always i mean obviously i mean look what i'm doing uh has you know been very important to me so being in a in an area with everybody who feels the same way as i do about a topic that is even, I mean, nerd culture is everywhere now, but this is more specific. And I'm looking around, I'm seeing references that I understand. And, you know, Joe Schmo walks in and he's like, oh, why is the guy in a weird mask and red gloves and Japan hair? Uh, you know, like, you know, it's, I feel, I feel a sense of community, community when I come to this. And it, it did inspire me. Like, I kind of wish I came, you know, yesterday. I wish I, I well, I was booked for a party on Friday, but yeah. We will very likely have more content next year for sure. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Con ten. That's, that's, that's. Are you cosplaying Christopher Donald Stanley? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we are going to move on to video game twenty questions. That's where I picked a random video game uh, right over there, actually, because I forgot to do it yesterday. And. Um, these guys are going to have twenty yes or no questions to figure out what game it is. At ten qu at the that. After 10 questions, I think we'll just open it up if anybody has a question that they want to throw out. Uh, if it's a, oh, actually I can't say if it's a good one, we'll use it. If not, I'll just, uh, we'll figure out a system. We'll figure out a system when we come to that. Why don't we make it the first 10 questions or us the last 10 questions or them? Just oh. Oh, snap. I like it. All right. And we got sure thumbs up like from 100 people <laughs> over there. <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, let's start. Was it? Was this game released before January first, two thousand? Yes. Do you want one mic, Josh, so that we can pass it? Because we're the ones asking questions, and you have to answer every single question. No. <laughs> <laughs> was this released during the? Uh, you said before two thousand, right? Yeah. Was this released during or during the Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, Saturn era? I need a year. I need a year. Uh, okay. You've never said that before. <laughs> Ever. Stalling. This is, the, this is, no, this is where he's cosplaying me. <laughs> I mean, I'm inclined to maybe think this is released for the arcade, so he's trying to figure out. Yeah, 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 because he just pulled okay, up his phone. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say yes, but be careful with that. <sighs> this is the worst part, you guys. Was it an exclusive? Yes. I got to go arcade or PC. And that's just so strange that he wouldn't know. That he wouldn't know. Yeah, why are you know? whispering this? I'm right here. <laughs> 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 Just trying to hey do such a huddle. <laughs> huddle, I guys. Like is it a fighting game? No. It's never a fighting game. No, but be careful with that. Oh my god. Is it an arcade now exclusive? Do do it. Was it released in the arcade? No. Was it released on the PC? Nope. 
Okay. Hold on. We are burning through questions. You are, yeah, you are and blazing I through this and, and you know I nothing, Josh, though. Okay, so we know it's an exclusive. We know it did not come out for the PC. We know that it did not come out for the arcade. And what else do we know? Before 2000? Before 2000. Before the 2000, yeah. And okay. for the uh, N64, Dreamcast, all that stuff. Be careful with N64. Era. Dreamcast is... That's a weird one. Yeah, just be careful with that. Does it have RPG elements? Yes. Okay. So we're talking something hybrid. Yeah. <laughs> PS1? Uh, it's either PS1 or Saturn. It's, exclusive. I can't imagine it would be a dream because... Hmm. Ooh, interesting. Hold Dreamcast on. Dreamcast was out for three months before that. I don't know. Is oh, this is gonna be tough. Cause all right, what did you? What did you? What was the answer to the fighting stuff? Nothing. Now, usually, no. Mark no. Mifflin's no. got, no, got but, these questions. No, but be careful with that. Okay, okay. It's all right. Not, is it's the, not a fighting game. It's is the main, is the main character? Oh, hold on. Roll back. Do you play as multiple characters? No. Is the main character a human? For what we know, yes. I mean, like, for all intents and purposes, yes. Okay. PlayStation 1 exclusive? No. That's 10. That's the end of our question. That's 10. All right. See? If anybody has a question, then they comment. So it has comment. to be yes or no. It has to be yes or no. Is there a remake of it? Yes. All right. That doesn't help me literally at all. That's, that's, that's good. Yeah. That's good. You could just guess it. All right, we got another one. What's up? Is it... Was it originally single player? Yes. So both of you guys probably nailed it. And we yeah, yeah, they're awesome. asking way better questions than you guys. You, like, you guys want to be on the podcast? Be <laughs> you already asked about PlayStation exclusivity. Oh, I yes. know. Oh, I think I know. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, we can't All right, we got another question. Is it on disc or, or a... Uh, we can, it would have to be yes or no. We can guess, okay. though. Yeah, we can guess, Is though. it on a CD? No. Is it on a cassette? Yes. A what? Well, cartridge, cartridge, yeah, yeah, cartridge. I, I know what you meant. I know what you meant. Oh, we got another one. Uh, I, 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 I got it. Is it from Nintendo? Yes. I got it. You got it? it, it wait, let, I mean, but let them. I think, I think they're... Right, you want to keep firing away? Go for it. I got yeah, go for it. Yeah, go. Why not? Audience participation. I don't know how many questions were Uh, we got five more. Was it originally a Japanese game? Yes. I love all of you so much. You guys are so better, way better. It's so much. They got it basically in seven questions. Okay, seven with a I little bit of knowledge. To be fair, we had to we had to set the table. Yeah, I don't they just I don't made Thanksgiving dinner. Are there two versions to the same game? Yes. <laughs> oh God! I didn't get it then. What? I so you didn't get what? it? What? Are you serious? Oh God! I'm freaking oh, out now. All right. I set, definitely didn't get do it. you want to do the honors and say what game it? Uh, ask if it's I, that game. Hold on, hold on, real quick, Wait, real quick, real quick, real quick. Oh, yeah, right. Go ahead. Yeah, you're yeah. done. Yeah. I'm just gonna throw something out random. Yeah. Pokemon. Is it Pokemon? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it like is Pokemon Red slash Blue. I've got, like I've got Bulbasaur on my screen. Arm. That's right. Uh, Japan is green. You guys well, the absolutely destroyed that. I am so proud of you. Well, done. very good. Would the fire alarms go off if I said I never played a Pokemon game in my life? Please, I'm yanking, oh, your, I'm yanking your badge. Please leave. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was uh, Pokemon. Uh, well, green, yeah, came out 1996 in Japan. Red uh, came out 1998. So when you were saying did it come out during that era, I'm like. Yeah, kind of, I mean, I I'm guess gonna, it did, but it was for the Game Boy. It was for the I'm Game Boy. I'm going to disagree so. with the, the be, be careful with that for the fighting, the fighting thing. Because You're fighting game Pokemon game. together. But it's not a They're fighting fight. game. I know, no, I agree, I agree. You, That's you, why I said no. Because that said no. threw me for a complete I said no. I said no. I was like, RPG fighting hybrid. Like, I would have never got it. I said, yeah. I said no, it's not a fighting it's, game. It's, but it's, be careful with that because I don't want you to get fighting out of your mind. It's almost a meme that literally every episode I ask if it's an RPG, this is the first time in the history that it's been one. So I have to for a loop anyway. That's, I wasn't on that episode, doesn't count. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess we didn't make that one. No, <laughs> it didn't happen. It didn't it's, happen. It's in, the, it's in the ether, as the kids say. I got That's you. The, Republic. the kids say that? They say in the ether. Jonathan? The kids do not Jonathan. say that. Old people say Jonathan, that. Jonathan, like do you say ether? <laughs> Have you heard of you know Ether? What? Well, be careful with that, because there's, there's double Final meaning. Final Fantasy VII <laughs> magic points. Get your head isn't out ether, of the gutter. Like, like is in Pokemon. Like, isn't, awesome. like, they, like oh smell Ether and stuff. The only reason why he would know that is that's why that's why. Audrey, does this smell like chloroform? <laughs> to help you go to sleep. <laughs> and just like every episode, it devolves into... 
a mess. Well, I know that I say this literally time, every time we podcast, but this is now my favorite episode. This is absolutely my favorite episode. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for, for hanging out with us. Our our we are 2017. If you want to, we are out of here because I gotta close down this game <laughs> show. <laughs> can, I, can I do the closing plugs? No, no, I, no, I was just saying anecdotally. I wasn't. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Professional, right? Then you have professional somewhere in here. Nope, I didn't actually. Yeah, that is very true. <laughs> Nothing. This is professional. Uh, you can follow us uh, at uh, facebookcom slash uh, downright fierce gaming. Twitter at DRF Podcast, Snapchat at DRF Podcast, Twitch at twitch.tv slash DRF Podcast, where we do some streaming stuff uh, with video games. Uh, we release new episodes every Monday on iTunes, Podbean, Google Play, and Stitcher, and we have live recordings every Sunday at 8.30 on Facebook at facebook.com slash Gaming. If you want to buy a t-shirt, you can go to teespring.com slash Gaming. I can't believe I'm remembering all of this right now. I'm so proud of you. Uh, and if you want to support us on Patreon, it's patreon.com. Oh, which one was it? Plus, Downright, Downright Fierce. Fierce Gaming. I think it's just Downright Fierce. It's either Downright Fierce or Downright Fierce Gaming, but check us out on Facebook to find out which one it is. Because uh, I don't know. <laughs> find out next episode. <laughs> and that's it. You know, normally I end with nonsense word stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm so not going to. That's really I'm fascinating because just... usually we'll, we'll do a hard cut. Yeah. And uh, I guess we can't do that. I guess we can. Genuinely, like, seriously, guys, I just want to say thanks. Like, yeah. Like, thank you so much for hanging out with us. And uh, we'll see you next year. Peace. <laughs> Post podcast hug. Post podcast hug. Okay, bye. Actually, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. Uh, no, seriously, what did you guys? Uh, oh, you got to do stuff, don't you? Yeah, but I got, I got a few minutes. All right. Uh, how did you feel about uh, uh, the panel? It was great. I had a lot of fun, and it was awesome. And the man everyone of a million was in. words is like, it was good. It was. It was. It was. It was, every, it was everything it was I wanted. Awesome. It was everything I wanted. Uh, I just wanted you know people to be excited and. Chit chat and hang out and shoot the shit and drop an F bomb or two. Didn't do that. No, we didn't. I'm amazed. Yeah, Just I'm so really proud of myself. It was fun. Actually, I did. There's, there, it's in there somewhere. Mm. I said it off mic, so. Yeah, I snuck it in. What'd you say? Uh, or what'd you, how'd you yeah, feel? No, there were a lot of people, a lot more <laughs> than I thought there was going to yeah. be for yeah. us. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. So it's yeah. Kind of nerve wracking. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. yeah. Good. 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 And good, now good. Chris is just leaving us yes. again. Like he always does. Like he always does. He just leaves. He just leaves. He that's, what, that's what he does. Oh, are we, are we live? No. no, we're just, I'm just recording. No. But I think we're all about Thanks for coming Some good looking dudes right there. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. yeah, what are we doing? So what do you think? How did you feel about it? It was fine. It was good. It was fun. It was fine. It was fine. It's just it's another day. It's Chris Stan, you know? It, uh... I was amazed at the, I mean, just the thousands of people that were here. That's true. That was surprising. That was very surprising. Um, oh, it's all right. Take care of yourself, buddy. All right, brother. Love you. Love you, too.